I was searching and searching for the best way for me to turn my recordings from this into this. Apex Legends was designed to fully use up all of your PC's resources and leave nothing behind. And this is a huge problem for streamers or YouTubers, but my friends, I have found a solution. It was hard, but I figured it out. After viewing like a million sources, I compiled what actually works. So here are the actual best settings for Apex Legends recording slash streaming. So I've got a few in-game settings that you're going to want to change, and these are all located in the video tab of the settings menu. The first setting you're going to want to change is the graphic settings, and these are the types of settings that change the way the game look. You should set them based on what your computer can handle, and I have mine on high, except, or at least as high as it can go, except for the unnecessary settings like ragdolls and other stuff like that. Now, in the display mode, change it to borderless window. This eliminates like the clunky or the laggy feel where it kind of stutters. Now, V-Sync should be turned off. I have a way to put V-Sync on externally and not through the game, and that's what you should do. So, you know, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, just go to the NVIDIA settings and change it through there. And now AMD GPUs, I'm not entirely sure how it, how like exactly it works, but somehow either put it on externally or, and this goes for everyone, you could just limit the frames to be what the monitor's refresh rate is. So now it's time for the OBS settings. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you launch up OBS is to disable this preview. So you want to do that by following the instructions on the video right now. So all these settings I'm going to be talking about now are in the video tab of the settings. And um, this is in the OBS, not the Apex. So set your output resolution based on your PC specs, so like lower specs to lower resolution. And I would definitely recommend just trying it out at 1080p at very first. And then if it's horrible, you can put it down. And then you want to have your um, base resolution. It doesn't matter, just put it to your native monitor resolution. For the downscale, set it to by cubic. And if you really felt like being different, I mean, I guess you could use Lanscos, but I would seriously recommend by cubic. For the FPS, I would recommend setting it to 60 frames per second or 30 if your computer can't handle the 60. So now in the output settings, you want to change the encoder and you're going to want to put this to NVIDIA NVENC NEW. And this is really important for the Apex streaming or recording uh, because it'll, it's going to remove another task from the CPU, which is like super busy and taxed out. And it's going to give it to the GPU, which, you know, is relatively easy going. OK, so now it should be less clunky. However, for me, I noticed that it was really blurry. And you can see on the screen right now how actually blurry it was. So I had to try to find a fix. And here it is, the bitrate, all right? This is the fix to fix the blurriness. And I have on screen, you can pause it if you need to, the recommended like bitrate for your video output resolution. So if you have it to 720p, obviously put it to that bitrate. And if you have it to, you know, yada, 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 put it to what it is. And for me, I since I'm gonna be recording in 1080p, I put mine to 8,000, which is the maximum recommended. And it seemed like a little bit clunky, so I put it down to 7,000 and voila. No issues, it's not blurry, it's not clunky, and it's just a really good recording. So the final fix that you might want to try is setting the audio um, bitrate to 320, and this is through the video, and then you click on the audio tab, and then you can just set your tracks to 320, and people said that this fixed it, but for me, I didn't notice, but that's just another thing that you can try to do to make it a little bit better. Alrighty, mans. I hope I helped you all out, and if I did, please consider liking and subscribing, and if I didn't, please leave a comment down below, and hopefully I can try to help you out a little bit more, and good luck with your streaming or your YouTube channel, and that's been it for me. Peace out. Good luck. Have fun.